Hello, welcome to today's Cypress Automation class. Today, we'll actually dive in into our automation testing and see what we can, you know, achieve today. Yesterday, we created this folder and uh, brought in Cypress, you know, installed, did all the installation. So if you actually weren't, if you uh, haven't watched our video yesterday, I will adjourn you to, you know, look at the link below and uh, click on it and get to watch that video because yesterday we installed all the things the dependencies we need to actually carry out this uh, automation and uh, i want you to just follow through so i don't want you to, to miss any any of the courses so please just watch the video and then come and follow us and watch this one now today we're going to start with this one let's just open this um folder you know yesterday i told you one of the things we installed was git and that git actually brought in this git bash so you just click on your git bash and uh, use code space dot enter that is going to open our workspace our work on visual studio code okay fine this is actually what we did yesterday yesterday we looked at this integration and uh, clean this example that came with the cypress and we just left only this one though we'll not be using this but i just felt we should leave it i'm going to create our own test today yesterday we handled all of this for you to get your terminal, just look at terminal here, click new terminal. Yesterday, we handled all of this, so we won't be needing this um, package or JSON for now. So what we'll just do now is to create our first test. We'll just come here, integration, under integration, right click and click on new file. So you call it, let's say, let's call it first test. First test dot spec dot JS. Okay, now, but before we start anything, we are going to look at what we'll be treating today. The topic we'll be treating today is actually, we'll be looking at describe and eat in Cyprus. Describe topic, today's topic is describe, describe and eat in Cyprus. Good. These are the two things we'll be looking at today. So, and uh, I actually would like us to go to Cypress documentation to see what these two things are because I just don't want you to take my words for it. So, I will take you to Cypress documentation so that you just have a look at what it is. Um, Cypress, Cypress documentation. Just we'll just spend a few seconds to look at. You look at docs.cypress.io. Now, this is Cypress page. We'll come here and we'll just uh, look at describe. Describe, yeah. Bundles library. That's what we're looking at. Good. Now, if you look at what Cypress is saying here, what they are telling us, now you see here, you said Mocha. What is it? Cypress has adopted, adopted Mocha's BDD syntax, and that is actually how Cypress works. Most of the syntax we'll be using in Cypress were actually adopted from Mocha. JX. Mocha JS is um, a JavaScript test framework, you know. So what Cypress is doing, uh, the so Cypress adopted most of the Mocha BDD syntax, and this describe is actually adopted from Mocha. Now, fine. Now this is what describe is all about. Just look at this. This is what I just want you to look at. We don't have to start reading everything, you know, line, line by line. It said it provides a way to keep tests easier to read and organized. That is what describe does. Now, in the nutshell, describe in Cypress, when I start implementing, you understand better. Describe in Cypress is basically used to group our test cases. That's just it. We use it to group our test cases. That is, we can nest our test, test in group, you know, as much as we want, we can just put, you can, in, the, in, in Cypress, you can put, the, describe can be nested inside describe, and, and then it takes two arguments. The first argument is a string, explain the name of the test group, Why the second is a callback function. Now, let me just put it into practice so that you see what I am saying. Now, for us to start our test, all you just need to do is to say, describe. describe this is what we're saying now this describe is what we're going to use to group everything we'll be doing in this cypress all our test cases will be embedded inside this describe that's all that's what describe does you know it's used to group all that you are doing 
in Cypress. Now, and I said that it takes two arguments. The first argument is a string. That string explains the name of the test group. Now, what am I trying to say? This 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 course will be looking at um, UI automation. Of course, the first the first project we'll be working on is UI automation because I told us, if you remember yesterday, I showed us that we'll be working on uh, this uh, this uh, demo QA, which is UI automation testing. You know, this is not API automation testing. We'll still be looking at API testing later on, but for now we'll be looking at UI automation testing. That is to say that what we will be doing here is UI automation. So the first string is going to carry what we'll be doing. The the group of the you know um, a kind of a heading. You know, so we say UI automation. That is that is the first argument that it carries. Now the second, we are done with the first. We put comma. So we we'll now put the next one is a callback function, and all we just need is to put a function. I'll be using arrow function. You know, a callback function. That's it. So everything we will now be doing, all our test cases that we'll be doing. Is going to be written inside this describe that's what describe does so it groups your job that's what describe does in cypress you get it and the good thing about describe is that you can put as many test cases inside this describe and describe too you can also put another describe inside describe yes it is very very possible i just you know copy that one you can also do the, do this it's going to work you know you, all you don't need to do is to give this another name maybe possibly a sub name you know and all that so it happens in cypress so that is actually what describe those in cypress now i told you that we're going to look at describe and it now let's take us back again to our documentation it says that describe now describe is a way to keep our test easy easier to read now if you look at here we also have it the same thing too the only difference between let me click on it so that you see it it's still the same thing. It provides a way to keep this easier to read. Now, the only difference between it and describe, which you, I know you, you are going to be asking yourself, okay, if um, describe does makes us to get you know our test easier to read, and it does the same thing, why should we be using the two? Yes, we're going to be using the two. The only the, the difference is that as describe groups all our work in in uh, in, in in Cypress, it is used for individual test cases. So every personal test cases that we'll be doing will just be putting it. Shit, sorry about that. Okay, no worries. We'll just put it and uh, we'll put this. So our test case now, our first test case is going to be here. Now, just the way describe takes two arguments. The first is a string giving you the heading of the describe. And the second is a callback function. That is how it also does. What it also does. It takes two arguments too. The first is a string explaining what you want to do. The particular test case you want to run. You have to explain it in the first in your first argument. That is a string. The second is a callback function. You start writing your Cypress test. You know. So, but before we continue, there is you know a reference type that we're going to bring in here, which is actually going to help us to you know do our tests, write our tests in Cypress. If not, we'll be having issue you saw what just happened when I, I wrote it you know something else came up that was because the reference type has not come inside vm visual studio code is not recognizing what is happening you know so but until i i now make i bring in the reference type and call it cypress that is when cypress will now say okay i will start having all the cypress centers you know so for you to get that all you need to do is just type in reference type different types equal Cypress and then I close that's it so now let's let me do this again and when you see it now fine now it's taking everything is not now so this is actually what describe does and this is what it does so it just is used for individual test cases why describe is used to group all the test cases in your in your automation testing so what that means is that if for example in my first test i want to carry my first test i put it write all my codes second test another it that is to say that i'm going to i can have even up to 
50 eats in one describe as much as i want you know though it it depends on you it's not actually very advisable to have so much you know how i do it is that i kind of uh, instead i create another name all together you know i'll just come here and create depending on what you are doing though but what i'm trying to say here is that you can have so many eats inside one describe that is actually how it is done and as i said earlier we'll be having um our first eat here and uh, the first argument is going to be a string which describes what we'll be doing now we'll call it describe because that is exactly what we're doing today describe and it in cypress that is the first argument and remember separate your argument with comma the second comma now the next one is a callback function just as we did above fine now the next here now we're going to have our cypress code fine i save so all our cypress code now our first test that we are going to carry out today will be written here, you know, and everything will not be inside this it. Now tomorrow, our next class, all we just need to do is to carry on another it again. You put in another it, you know. Next, you can have so much, so much it as you want, you know, inside this describe. And as I said earlier, you can see how describe inside describe, you know. As we move on. As we move on on this class, we'll be doing much work and you are going to see how to use all this. Now, the first thing we'll be doing today is to look at our demo QA. What we are going to do is to just, you know, test the the, the URL. And uh, in order for us to do that, all you need to do is to come here, copy the URL. So the Cypress code for testing URL is called sci.visit. Now, as I click my dot, you see Cypress is giving me all of this simply because reference type is recognizing the Cypress. So it's now bringing all that is there in, in sci. Dot. Now, all we want is visit. Sci.visit is here. Sci.visit. That is, if you want to go to any URL, that is the code to visit URL in Cypress. And you just put copy what you've put in the URL here. Of course, when you are done typing, when you are done giving your command, or when you are done typing in JavaScript, you put semicolon to show that that is the end. And now I save. What I want to do now is to run this Cypress to open my Cypress. I remember what we did yesterday. Let me see. Refresh your memory. Here, this is how we are calling our Cypress. So once we run this test, this Cypress is going to open because we've already configured it in a package.json yesterday. So all I need to do is to say npm run test. So I'll wait, I'll wait and see the Cypress build. Fine, now look at our test, yeah, first test. is opening now it's actually trying to locate the URL you can see that it has located it and it's trying to open fine good one now it has opened. you can see how fast it is this URL is actually a bit you know heavy because of so many things embedded inside it but you can see how fast it is now look at what I just explained to you this is the describe you see it ui automation that is what was written here that's it here this is the first argument the string ui automation is the heading that is the heading is speaking here now this becomes the subheading the it heading which, which is here describe and eat describe and eat in cypress which is what you're having here so you can see how it is structured how cypress is stru structures it so this is a test now this is all the test that we just run all we do here is just to see to be able to open the url and it has opened it successfully for us. the test has passed now if you've done this with me bravo 
you have actually done your first test in Cypress. Congratulations. Once again, I will join you to hit like button and uh, if you have not, and if you have not subscribed, please subscribe because